And uh, first, I would like to thank everyone uh, for being here. I know it's uh, for, for, for most of us, we have family, we have jobs, we have a lot of things to do. And uh, <clears throat> you have to set aside a lot of appointments just to be here. Am I right? Right? So uh, I really appreciate that. I only do this once a year. But I, I love doing this. I love teaching people. I have <clears throat> helping Filipinos. And uh, that has been my passion for the last several years when I started doing uh, teaching. So anyways, <clears throat> just a quick story. I was here like a, about a week ago. Normally po, dumarating ako for my seminars just like two days before the seminar. Pero ngayon po, my, 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 my siblings were here. So nagpunta kami ng, uh, ng Ilocos Norte. Sino napunta ng Ilocos Norte? Right? So in Ilocos Sur, right? Uh, places like, uh, like Vigan. Right? We were there and uh, I think it was in Lawag. I really realized that the weather pala sa, sa Lawag <clears throat> could vary. could be cold, and then suddenly the following day could be really hot. Okay? So, I'm from ako, ako Canada. For those who are not aware, I'm not from Manila. I'm from Canada. Na po kami -base. And um, we went to Lawag. <clears throat> Ang lamig. I mean, sa Philippines, when I went to the Philippines, I was just wearing shorts and t-shirt. Eh. If you see me in the mall, wherever, I was just wearing shorts and t-shirt. Because the Philippines, it's hot. Right? Sa Canada, ang weather po namin doon umabot ng minus 40. Ano po yung degree ng freezing point ng water? Zero. Pero sa amin po, minus 40. So literally, if you stay there in five minutes, magiging snowman ka. <laughs> Ganon. Punta kami ng lawag. We are unprepared. And guess what happened? It was cold. And now, maririnig niyo sa boses ko, I have coughing. So, it's an excuse for me also. Ayan na. Okay, and of course, I would like to ask you an apology dahil hindi ko inaakala kang ganito ang mangyayari. But I really have a lot of things to share with you guys. I'm gonna do my very best. And I'll make sure that whatever you've invested in this seminar, you will get 10 times more. Okay? <clears throat> what you will hear today and later this morning and this afternoon are people who are not public speakers. Hindi po kami, this is not what we do for a living. If you, sino na po nakate ng mga seminars dito? Pakitaas po ang kamay. Mga nakate na ng seminars before, okay? Especially most of them, I'm not saying naman that they're bad or wrong, but most of them, they are run by public speakers. You will hear a lot of ra-ra-ra, feel-good motivation thing. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. We cannot Move, we won't take action unless we are motivated. Okay? But what you're gonna hear today, these are actionable steps that you can take home and immediately apply for your own business. Okay? So, in other words, we will not offer you marshmallows. You know what marshmallow is, right? Yung sa matatamis. Feel good, you felt better, but after about an hour, <laughs> Magka-crush ka, you didn't get no trains. So, nagpunta po kami ng lawag. That was the photo. <clears throat> and this is very interesting because what they do is they make this special fabric, yung mano-mano, that we learned, I think, from, from, from Spanish or from Chinese many years ago. <clears throat> the reason I'm showing you guys this, actually, kaninang, like 10 minutes ago ko lang nilagay yung photo. I have a mixed emotion when I was watching them. Okay. They produce this fabric na parang pride ng vegan, yung certain cloth. And um, <clears throat> it is good because somehow yung tradition ng vegan, they kept it by keep operating this kind of business. These are like really mano-mano po silang nagtatahe. From, from sinulid, magiging tela like literally mano-mano may pumapadsyak ng ganon. <clears throat> So that's the good thing. The bad part was I felt bad, rather, because these people can only make a maximum of 200 pesos per day. Just imagine, they were work. Are they hard working? Yes. But they're gonna make just 200 pesos a day. That is why hard work alone is not enough. You have to know what to work on. And that's by being smart. And that's what we're going to share with you guys. Okay? 
most of you, probably 100% of you, are in this room because you receive an invitation to be part of the seminar via what? Email. I didn't knock on your door. I didn't phone you. Everything were online. Would you be interested to learn how to do that as well? Okay. So that's what I'm going to share to you guys. So let's talk about, <clears throat> there you go, lifestyle entrepreneur. So how to design a business that will give you both time and money. That is the theme for today. Later on, there will be speakers that they're going to share with you different business models that you guys can copy and design a lifestyle for you guys. You guys can see Sinabrito lifestyle. It's not just about money. It'll be, it's about lifestyle. As an adult, <clears throat> this is our always concern, right? Whenever I do coaching, after I coach thousands of people, I notice two things. Rather, three. I can put an adult mostly in three categories. Number one, they have money, but they don't have the time. Right? Sino nakaka dito? You may have a, a high-paying job or a very successful business, eh, pero pag umi mo, matutulog ka na lang, yung anak mo, tulog na. Or maybe gising pa sila, but you don't have an energy anymore to play with them. Okay? Na experience ba ninyo yan? Okay? Number two is you have the time, but you don't have much money. Okay? So you, don't, you have the time, but you don't have much money. And three, lastly, wala ka ng oras Wala ka pang pera. Sino rito nakaka-relate? Taas ang kamay. Walang umamin, mga sinungaling. In reality, it's one of my realizations as well. When I was an adult, when I was an employee, it's the same thing. The question is, do we have to live that way for the rest of our lives? Because if you're just like, let's just say you are 30 years old. Uy, pinabata ako ng iba ngayon, ha? Okay? Let's just say you are 30 years old. You gonna retire. Ano ba retirement age? Retirement age. 65 or 60, 65. You mean, if you're 30 years old right now, are you telling me that you're gonna live that life for the rest, for the next 30 years of your life? Wala ka ng oras, wala ka pang pera? Ano pang ginagawa mo? Right? Like, there's no point. You live just to pay your bills? And then, pagka kinuha ka na ni Lord, nakalagay dun sa pulpito mo, itong tao na to ay nabuhay para magtrabaho habang buhay. It's not a pretty, right? So, what I'm promising you guys is we finally, is number one is to break that mentality that to make a lot of money, you have to kill yourself. Because you can really make a lot of money Pero tipong mga four hours ka na lang matutulog, huwag ka na mag-toothbrush, huwag ka na maligo. Lalo na mga babae, two hours bago makapag-prepare. Right? Men? Yes. Men, yes. Sini ko ni misis yung sumagot ha. <laughs> so, <clears throat> seriously, you can make a lot of money, but you're gonna kill yourself. Or, you can spend a lot of time with your kids. <laughs> Problema, pag dumating yung tuition, sa kukuha. Pag nagkasakit, parang pambabayan mo. Pag nagbakasyon, saan ka kukuha? You always mean have to choose between the two. Okay? This is a quote from John Lennon. Beatles. Sa mga Justin Bieber na yan, baka hindi nyo nakilala to. <laughs> Bilin niya. Sabi niya, When I went to school, they asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wrote down happy. They told me I didn't understand the assignment and I told them they didn't understand life. We've become so busy, my friends. For many years, you've been working hard. Sino rin po yung nagtatrabaho na ng uh, more than 10 years? Yung, you have a job for more than 10 years na po. Mahigit sampung taon na po kayo nagtatrabaho. Okay, so napakarami. Okay? And probably, 
at some point in your life, or even five years, five years and up, sino po yung five years and up na nagtatrabaho, limang taon na pong mahigit nagtatrabaho. Sometimes you're drinking coffee and you're thinking about yourself or you're in a traffic and you were like wondering, what happened in the last 10 years? You know? Parang hindi mo na alam. Because you've been busy, too busy, working. That you lost track. Saan nga ba papunta itong buhay? Kung ba't nga ba ako nagtatrabaho? Okay? <clears throat> so, what is the difference between lifestyle entrepreneur and the typical traditional entrepreneur? The biggest difference is we prioritize lifestyle over money. Hindi ibig sabihin na hindi tayo kikita. Ang ibig sabihin, we will prioritize yung lifestyle. How do you want to live your life and then support that kind of lifestyle with a nice online or internet business? That's how you're gonna design it. Hindi backwards. Diba normally, sa mga gusto magnegosyo, ano pong ginagawa nila? They buy a magazine, they go online, they attend a seminar, right? Looking for business opportunity. And then, may nakita silang interesado sila, they gonna launch that business, right? Sino na po rito yung may na, may na, may naging negosyo na, <laughs> or currently may negosyo ngayon? Pakitaas po yung kamay. Yung may mga negosyo na kayong nilaunch na hindi naman nag really naging successful, right? So many of you, I believe Filipinos by nature are hardworking. If they see a good business opportunity, they're gonna launch it. Ganun lang kasimple. Kaya you look around, napakaraming karinderya, tindahan, service-based businesses. It's like, if I'm gonna ask each one of you, probably you have something to offer for me. Okay? Sir John, nagbibenta kami ng baboy. Baka gusto mong bumili. <laughs> okay. There was one email subscriber sent me an email. Sir John, nagbibreed po kami ng kambing. <laughs> Baka interesado kayo. <laughs> Sabi ko. Pwede bang pet yan? <laughs> Kaya hindi ko lang kung saan gagawin. Ganun ang Filipinos eh. Right? Napakarami na nating racket. Ika nga. And I've been there. I'm telling you, I've been there. I'm not like extraordinary. But what I'm about to share with you is number one, if you are new into this, number one, you don't need large capital to get started. If you're gonna ask many Filipinos who would like to start a business, one of the biggest <clears throat> obstacles, at least in their heads, is like, but I don't need the capital. I don't have a capital. Right? Tama? Am I right? Am I correct? <clears throat> I don't have the capital. So later on, we will show you, you don't need a lot of capital to get started in this business. Number two, you need just one to two, two, two hours a day. Sino po rito yung merong one to two hours a day? Taas ang kamay. Sino po rito yung walang one to two hours a day? Taas ang kamay. Guard? <laughs> I know you guys are busy and probably thinking you one to two hours a day. Paano ko pa i-squeeze yun? Papasok sa opisina, two hours. Pabalik, two hours. Four hours na. Matutulog ako ng 8 hours. So magkano na yun? 12 hours. Tama ba? Mag-work ka pa. Paano 1 to 2 hours a day? Look, mayaman, mahirap, there's only one thing in common. We only have 24 hours. You can make excuses all you want, my friend, but at the end of the day, that is just an excuse. I started my own business. I have a full-time job just like you. I'm raising a family. I don't have much money as well. I don't have much skills as well. So, in other words, I cannot accept any excuses, whatever you have in mind. Okay? So I'm here to kick your ass and say, get up, do your business. Okay? Hindi po ako nanay nyo na sasabihin, okay lang yung anak, tama. Manood ka na lang ng TV maghapon. That's right. You deserve it. Okay? We are all adults here, right? Okay. And we are willing to take that bitter pill. Okay? So, you just need one to two hours a day. Sir John, paano nga po yun? Wala po talaga akong poras. Well, you have to find a way. 
Kung kinakailangan magbawas ka ng tulog, magbawas ka ng tulog. Hindi po totoo yung 8 hours a day na naririnig natin for a very long time. Trust me, make an experiment. Gumising ka an hour earlier. You will be surprised how you feel good about yourself. Now, while the rest of the population are still in bed, you are working to get rich. So that someday, you can sleep all you want while they work so hard. Hindi ba mas maganda yon? Right? You make sacrifices for now because you have a full-time job. Sabi mo ng eight hours. And then you're gonna work for two hours. So that ten hours and then your travel time and all that. Okay? Just give this chance for 12 months so that someday you can sleep ng pinakamahabang gusto mo. Okay? So you just have to make sacrifices. Now lastly, <clears throat> the good thing about what we do is you can run it from home. Sino excited dyan magkaroon ng negosyo sa bahay lang? Ay, sus! Ang traffic sa EDSA! Sino po rito yung pinakamalayo ang biniyahe o pinakamahaba? Sorry. Alam ko may mga lumipad rito eh. Si Jane was here from Cebu. Si Jane? Jane where's, where's Jane? Davao. Sino po yung mga lumipad rito? Taga saan po kayo? Davao din. Bakolod. Sino ba? Iloilo. Palawan. Ayan. Woo. Ganda. Sa Palawan. Grabe the best. Right? Okay. Sino po rito yung pinakamaya habang binyahe by land? Yung hindi naman na lumipad. Meron ba two, more than two hours ang binyahe niya? Ilang oras? Twelve hours? Maraming salamat for coming, ha? Palakpakan natin. Twelve hours, guys. <clears throat> Because what she's doing is investment on herself. Because the seminar is just eight an hour, just an eight hour seminar, but she's willing to travel 12 hours. <clears throat> it will show you guys her commitment for her to change her life. Okay? Now, going back to what I'm saying, yung traffic sa Manila is terrible, and do not think na mayroong presidenteng mauupo dyan at suddenly mawawala ang traffic. It ain't gonna happen, girl. <laughs> Why? Eh, lumalag ang populasyon natin eh. Mas mabilis ang mga anak <laughs> ng milyon-milyon kaysa magtayo ng kalye. Ang sasakyan, they're always new car. Every single year, lagi may brand new car. <laughs> so, hindi magbabago yon. So, if you would like to change the traffic, well, number one, is you can avoid the traffic by just staying at home, running your business. Good? Or move like to the province. I don't know kung Cebu or Davao, uh, how terrible the traffic is. Maybe you can go there. But that traffic won't go away, my friend. Okay? So what we're gonna do is we will take advantage of the technology and automation to run a business. Is that good? Okay, all right. So tayo muna tayo quickly. Just stand up. <clears throat> Alam nyo, ang katawang kasi natin, Okay? Ang katawan natin, connected sa brain yan eh. Ganito ang typical yan. Nung bagong tayo ako sa stage, talagang nakasit up kang ganyan. Talagang all ears. Taking notes. And then mamaya, umi-slide ka na ng ganyan. Mamaya tulog ka na. Mga kapatid, <laughs> sayang ang pinunta mo kung matutulog ka lang. Hindi ba? Plus, pwede ka naman matulog mamaya. Okay? We have coffee at the back. Am I right? So, kahit di ka nagkakape, coffee is a great way to wake yourself up. Ako po, I'm not a seminar person, to be honest. In other words, I cannot sit for a long time listening. Maybe ka talagang kung super mala Tony Robbins ang speaker, then yeah. Okay? So do not feel bad kung medyo inaantok-antok ka. <laughs> That's okay with me because hindi nga po kami public speaker. But at the same time, I don't want you to miss a great opportunity that will change your life. I don't want to miss it. I only do this once a year, my friend. I'm, you know that. <clears throat> right? For most of you, ngayon lang ako nakita. Ay, totoo pala. 
email lang email to, spam nang spam sa akin. Sa sobrang galing mag-spam, nandito ako ngayon. At hindi pa tumigil sa spam, hinahunting pa ako sa Facebook. Laging nandun ang mukha niya. I guess it's working. Nandito kayo eh. Okay? Don't worry, we're gonna share with you guys that uh, this afternoon. Okay? So I want you to guys to stretch your hands really high. Just really high, just to wake you up. Just pretend that you're gonna reach the ceiling. Okay? Oops, kita yung pusod, pakibaba. Okay? Oh, ah, pusod, pusod. Okay? Pakibaba, just stretch. Okay? So, gising lang, gising lang. Shh. Okay, humarap ka sa kaliwa mo. Humarap ka sa kaliwa mo. On left, left. Ayan. Okay? Ilagay mo yung kamay mo sa ulo nung nasa harapan mo. Ayan. Sabi mo, naligo ka ba? <laughs> okay. Sa kabila naman. On the other side, bumawi ka. Hmm. Mahangin ba sa labas? Okay. Sige po, maupo na po tayo. <clears throat> Marami salamat. Okay? So there you go. This is what we're gonna do. I believe in this thing. That the internet, it's either it's gonna use you or you're gonna use it. Facebook, it's either you're gonna use it or they're gonna use you. Do not think Facebook is free. Hindi po dahil pwede kayong gumamit ng Facebook for free, that doesn't mean it's free. When you sign up for Facebook, whether you believe it or not, whether you like it or not, you've signed up to give some privacy or private information to Facebook. Are we pa kay Ron? Okay. So, <clears throat> so it's not it's not a secret. So, si Mark Zuckerberg, ang founder ng Facebook, probably one of the richest men in the world right now, is a billionaire. He founded Facebook, right? Lahat naman tayo may Facebook, right? I assume. Okay? So, it's either you're gonna use Facebook to entertain yourself or you're gonna use Facebook to make money. Sino rito ang gusto malaman yung how to make money from Facebook? Buti naman. Kung hindi, pag-ibang usapan na lang natin ngayon. So, it's the same thing. Okay? We waste so many hours on Facebook. But how about we spend hours on figuring out how to use that platform to make money. Sino po rito yung, yung nakita ko o nakita yung Facebook ad ko or you heard first about me because through Facebook? Sino po rin nakakita ng Facebook ad ko? Look around. Look around, guys. Look around. Keep your hands up. Hands up. Nakikita nyo. Right? You're gonna learn from looking around. Okay? It's not an accident that you see my face all over Facebook. Because instead of me letting Facebook use me, I use Facebook to take advantage. Okay? This is the growth of uh, internet users in the Philippines. This was back in 2015, Payata. This is from Rappler, by the way. Okay? So as of 2015, we have like what? 47 million? Something. 47 million people. Just the Philippines alone. 47 million people. Just imagine you want, you go to a certain place and there are like 47 million people. Do you know yung mga 47 million people? They are bigger than population of other countries, smaller countries like Singapore and Hong Kong, I think uh, Laos. They only have few millions. Pero ang internet users of Philippines, 47 million. Just imagine, whatever product or services that you have or you want to offer, they are on Facebook. 47 million eh. That's a lot of people. So, kung panay ka lang games, may Candy Crush pa ba? Ano na bang games ngayon sa Facebook? <clears throat> ha? Yung huling nag-invite sa akin, in-unfriend ko eh. <laughs> Biro lang. Okay? So, you have to take advantage of Facebook. Okay? This is how many hours... Do people, Filipinos, spend on mobile devices? 3.2 hours. Kaya kung sasabi mo sa akin, wala kang oras, inuungoy mo ba ako? <laughs> you have time. It's just that you're not spending your time wisely. 
Okay? And this is the long hours that they spend on desktop computer. Desktop yung computer and then of course yung tablet. Yung mga iPad. That's how many hours they spend. Oh, I forgot. That's per day, my friend. Per day. The best thing about what we do is you don't need to be in television just to advertise your business. Okay? Now, if you may be wondering, Sir John, how did you start it with all this crazy online business? So as I've said, katulad po ninyo ako, sino po rito yung nakabasa ng Escapology Manifesto? Pakitaas po ang kamay. Escapology Manifesto. There you go. So you probably learn about my story. I started different businesses, traditional businesses, retail, MLM, pharmacy store, restaurant, tapsilugan. Okay? So katulad po din nyo ako. Okay? Sino nagtayo rito ng tapsilugan ng mga restaurant? Taas ang kamay. Restaurant? Right? Kasi kaya natin gusto mag-restaurant dahil sa utak natin is ang tao, ang Pilipino ay kakain. Na? Hindi natin na-realize na kakompetensya natin ang lutong bahay. Mura na, masarap pa. Okay? So that was the challenge. So I had different businesses. All of them failed. And many of these businesses, you cannot operate without all the necessary permits. Right? Rent. Rent lang ngayon eh. How much is the rent to just get a small piece of for a restaurant or a retail store? Magano? Sino rito may businesses? 5,000? May 5,000 pa ba ngayon? 8,000. 8,000 per month. Whether you make money or not, you have to pay 8,000. Not to mention electricity bill. Right? Kuryente. Not to mention tubig. Not to mention kung may tao ka o staff ka. So, kung titimbangin natin, I'm not saying that traditional business will go away, but it's really difficult to succeed in a traditional business. Especially in a business that you have no idea. So what we're going to offer you guys today is a business, number one, you don't need large capital. Number two, you don't need a lot of time. Number three, you don't have to go through all the necessary permits. Nagtayo po ako ng pharmacy store. Sino rin po nagtayo ng butika? Right? <clears throat> Bago ka mag-operate, ang daming permit nun. Yung half a million pesos po na capital for a butika, akala nyo malaki na yon? No. Kasi gano'n ba kaliliit ang gamot? Ganyan ang kaliliit na nasa garapon. So kala mo yung butika, kala mo empty? Malaki na ang capital nun. And let's face it, Hindi naman po tayo lahat rito mayroong half a million or a million to get started, right? Right? Don't worry, hindi ko kayo hold the pen. <laughs> right? So, <clears throat> that's the thing. So, I started my business. The one in the middle is my eldest son. His name is Paolo. He's now 10. When I started my business, katulad din po ninyo, ang daming racket. But then, nagkaanak ako. And then, made me realize how employment is so limited with opportunities for me. Limited ng income? Tama ba? Bitin ba lagi ang sahod? Can I hear amen? amen. Ba yung hindi? Sinong ali? Big time ako, malaki sahod ko. <laughs> okay? So, bitin ang sahod. Bitin ang opportunities. Because you have to stay in the office, 8 to 5. Right? Whether you like it or not, you feel good or not, you have to go in the office. Right? Yung iba rito, kung medyo konting sakitin ka, ubus na yung sick leave mo. Right? E every Monday may, may sakit ka. <laughs> Monday sickness. <laughs> okay? So, that's how it started. I realized I have to have a business that can support my lifestyle. And employment cannot give me that. Because I want to wake up on a specific time, I want to do certain activities in the day. If I have a full-time job, that's not gonna happen. I want to pick up my son to school. I want to prepare. I'm a father first. Entrepreneur second, third na lang yan. I'm a father first. I want to prepare the breakfast, drop them to school, pick them up. Kung merong mga volunteer activities sa, sa school, we volunteered. Kung merong mga activities yung, school, yung anak ko na gusto niyang nandun ako, I'd like to be there every single time. And employment cannot offer you. Because lagi kang magpapaalam sa boss mo, right? And 
may mga companies that can give you such flexibility, right? May mga ganun namang company, may mga bosses na they're open and that's okay. But unfortunately, hindi lahat. Tama? 